Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that comparison is the killer of joy. We all have our own destinations that we're moving towards. That's okay. We all have unique perspectives on how to maneuver through this life of ours. That's okay as well. Don't rob yourself of your own greatness by comparing yourself to others. You can have others that uh, may possess things, uh, may possess personality, attitude, material things that you would like to have yourself. Only you can give you those things. Some things come naturally. Some take a little bit more effort and attention. That's fine. But don't get caught up in being better than the next person or any person. And don't judge yourself as being worse than any person. Accept you for who you are. There's nothing wrong with that. It's beautiful. I use that word a lot. One, because I love it. I mean, it feels good to my spirit. But in the true essence of this life that we live, life is beautiful. And you're in this life. You are beautiful just the same. So remind yourself of that inside and out. But don't get caught up in being a different version of somebody else. Be who you are. That's all that matters. That's the only way you truthfully learn. Even if you aspire to be like others, you learn more about you than you do them and moving in a certain direction that they move in. That's fine. But understand that the journey is all for you. It's not for anybody else. And then that is where your power lies. And that is where you have the ability to say, you know what? This person is amazing at this certain quality. I would like to have that quality. I would like to feed attention to that quality. Doesn't mean you have to be better than them. You don't have to judge yourself for not being as great as them. No. You simply see that quality within yourself and you exhibit that. You feed it attention. You give it that time of day. You give it that energy. And in simply doing that, that quality becomes part of you. The world will take care of the rest. By this I mean that quality will be reflected back to you in various different ways. That's the beauty of it. We're not here to perfect living. We're here to experience it. And in doing so, we have the choice to do anything imaginable. Anything imaginable. Think about that. There's no limit. There's truthfully no limit. We can look at whatever documented history that is out there. There is no limit to what man can do because man is powered by spirit. Now, there's always naysayers. There's always resistance. Who cares? It's about you and your journey, your personal journey. Where are you headed? That's not for me to answer. That's not for anybody else to answer. It's all for you. And when you make that choice, you make that decision, then you move in that direction in a way that is seemingly guided at times for you to get to where you want to be, if not further. I mean, that's just... <laughs> That is amazing. I share this with you because I didn't understand that when I was younger. I grasp it not only a lot better now, but it gives me peace of mind in knowing that, okay, I don't have to do it the way it's always been done. I'm going to do it in a way that it has never been done before. Inherently, that's what all of us do. We do it our own way. And in doing it our own way, 